we must evaluate the underlined segment to determine its accuracy. Our Azure Active Directory tenant has an Azure subscription linked to it. Our developer has created a mobile application that integrates with Azure Active Directory via OAuth 2 implicit grant type. The mobile app is required to register into Azure Active Directory and must obtain a valid redirect URI from the developer during registration. If the underlined segment is inaccurate, select the accurate option. A no adjustment required. V a secret. C a login hint. D a client ID. OK, now pause the video here. Have a bit of think and then continue when you are ready. The accurate option is no adjustment required. If you are not adjusting your registration flow or configuration beyond providing the redirect URI, the statement implies that no further adjustments are needed, but in reality, adjustments are necessary to complete the process properly. We have an Azure Active Directory tenant. We plan to create several security alerts using Azure Monitor. What should we create first to prepare the Azure subscription for the alerts? A. An Azure Storage Account. B. An Azure Log Analytics Workspace. C. An Azure Event Hub. D. An Azure Automation Account. OK, now pause the video here. Have a bit of think and then continue when you are ready. Basically, you need Log Analytics Workspace to store the security related logs and use Custo to query the logs. Based on the result of query, create security alert. Therefore, you have to create Log Analytics Workspace first. We use Azure Security Center for the centralized policy management of three Azure subscriptions. We employ several policy definitions to manage the security of the subscriptions. We need to deploy the policy definitions as a group to all three subscriptions. We create an initiative and an assignment that is scoped to a management group. Does this solution meet the goal for us? OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. Creating an initiative and assigning policies scoped to a management group in Azure ensures that each subscription's set of managed policies is automatically grouped together, allowing the same policy definitions to apply across all managed subscriptions without needing additional policies for each subscription individually. We have created a service endpoint for the subnet, which includes an Azure Virtual Machine running Ubuntu server. We are preparing to deploy Docker containers to the virtual machine and need to ensure that the containers can access Azure storage resources and Azure SQL databases via the service endpoint. To achieve this, we install the Container Network Interface plug-in. Does this solution meet the goal? OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. Yes? We have 10 virtual machines on a single subnet with a single network security group. We need to log the network traffic to an Azure storage account. What should we do? Uninstall the Network Performance Monitor solution. B. Create an Azure Log Analytics Workspace. C. Enable Diagnostic Logging for the Network Security Group. D. Enable Network Security Group Flow Logs. OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. D. Enable NSG Flow Logs.
Our Azure subscription includes 100 virtual machines that have Azure Diagnostics enabled. We have been tasked with retrieving the identity of the user that removed a virtual machine 15 days ago. We have already accessed Azure Monitor. Which of the following options should we use? A application log. B metrics. C activity log. D logs. OK, now pause the video here. Have a bit of think and then continue when you are ready. To retrieve the identity of the user who removed a virtual machine, the activity log provides records of operations performed on resources in your Azure subscription, including who performed the action, what action was taken, and when it occurred. We have an Azure subscription, which is linked to an Azure Active Directory tenant. With the Global Administrator role assigned, we are responsible for managing Azure Security Center settings. What steps should we take to create a custom sensitivity label? A create a custom sensitive information type. B. Elevate access for Global Administrators in Azure Active Directory. C. Upgrade the pricing tier of the Security Center to standard. D. Enable integration with Microsoft Cloud App Security. OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. The correct answer is a. We use Azure Security Center for centralized policy management across three Azure subscriptions. We apply several policy definitions to manage the security of these subscriptions. We need to deploy these policy definitions as a group across all three subscriptions. Solution, we create an initiative and an assignment scoped to the tenant root group management group. Does this meet the goal? OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. Yes, to deploy Azure policy definitions across multiple subscriptions as a group, the best practice is to use initiatives and management groups. We have an Azure subscription. We have an Azure storage account in a resource group. Users and applications access the blob service and the file service in the subscription by using several shared access signatures and stored access policies. We discover that unauthorized users accessed both the file service and the blob service. We need to revoke all access to the subscription. We create a lock on the subscription. Does this meet the goal? OK, now pause the video here, have a bit of think, and then continue when you are ready. It is incorrect. The correct solution involves adjusting the policies on the storage groups associated with the entire resource group going to revoke access. This ensures that all files and blob services in Sayon are denied access. Creating a lock on Sayon does not affect the entire resource group. It only affects its specific storage group within Ugon. Revoking access across the entire resource group requires configuring each storage group in the account to revoke access, which is more comprehensive and accurate for this scenario. We have an Azure Active Directory tenant. We need to configure diagnostic settings to meet the following requirements. Retain logs for two years. Query logs using the custo query language. Minimize administrative effort. Where should we store the logs? A. An Azure Event Hub. B. An Azure Log Analytics Workspace. C. An Azure Storage Account. OK, now pause the video here. Have a bit of think and then continue when you are ready.
the optimal solution involves consolidating log storage within an Azure Log Analytics workspace, as this centralizes logging operations and reduces administrative overhead. Not forget to like and subscribe.